So he gave that COPD patient some oxygen and now he's not breathing and his CO2 is rising. What happened? Let me explain. Come here. Welcome to Physiology 101, Episode 2. There are chemoreceptors in our body, peripherally and centrally, which respond to the change in partial pressure of carbon dioxide, oxygen or any change in pH. Normally, body depends on central chemoreceptors for our ventilatory drive. Any change in PaCO2 levels either increase or decrease our ventilatory drive. But in COPD patients, they have chronic elevation of CO2 levels and hence, the central chemoreceptors become desensitized to any change in CO2 levels. So the body starts depending more on peripheral chemoreceptors for any change in the PaO2 levels. But hypoxia is now leading the ventilation. So whenever you give oxygen to any COPD patients, you end up curing their hypoxia, which was driving their ventilation. So they will stop breathing. And there is something called Haldane effect. Deoxygenated hemoglobin carries carbon dioxide way better than oxygenated hemoglobin. So whenever you give oxygen, you basically remove hypoxia, you oxygenate the hemoglobin, which reduces its carbon dioxide carrying capacity. So that carbon dioxide will not be delivered well to the lung and will not be washed out. Now tell me down in the comments below, what is Bohr's effect? Read more about the topic down below and keep learning.